Hey everybody, how's it going? It's been a while, and today we have some news. Fluid Flux 3 has been announced. We're going to be going through some of the stuff. Um, I know there's some issues installing it with uh, Fab, but the easiest way to do it would be to go to your window, load Fab up, and when you do that, you're going to go to, you know, do it through this way here, so Fluid Flux. And then it's going to be right there. And then, of course, we own it. And you go add to project. And it's going to add through this way. And it's a it's a bit better. And it installs everything. So that's the first thing until uh, the Epic Game Launcher runs out. But other than that, that's pretty good. So we're going to go through some of the stuff. The biggest, biggest thing here is the under glass stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, we're going to go through and we're going to actually do that right now. So as you can see here, we've got the demo going on. I just hit G there on the keyboard to remove a lot of the stuff there. And as you can see now, they've added the ability for glass and tubes, which is pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and hit play right now. And here we go. This looks incredible. Like, I wish there was rolling waves here, but it still looks amazing. We're going to look at all this stuff here, which is incredible. Let's go right in, and let's take a look at this. You guys notice that? Even, like, there's even... Let's zoom right in there. They even have the water on the glass going down. That looks incredible. Let's zoom out a bit just the way everything's looking. You got the rolling waves coming in and of course going. So what this could be used for, which is pretty cool, like obviously any underwater tunnel system, but imagine a racing game, a racing game where you can go underwater and do all of these really, really cool things. And now we're actually in a different part of the system. Go all the way over here. We're like kind of more in the ocean system here, which is pretty cool. We're gonna go all the way over here. Here we got a nice filter on it, so it's turning early. Look at that, the way the water's going down there. That is super cool. That is very, very cool. Now we're on this side right over here. So that is quite amazing already. That's a huge, huge upgrade. But to me, one of the really, really cool upgrades is the decal system. Uh, but we're gonna also go over here and take a look at this rock area here. Another thing that's been added. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see more foam, more particles around these areas. We're gonna show you the filters and things that have been added to these areas right now. So I'm going to hit G, and as you can see here, here's the different rock areas and stuff, but this is where we were, and you can see all the different splashes. So you can see here, if I click on that, this is the Niagara actor that he's using, which is the Flux Flome. So you can see all the different particles and everything, and you can even up the spawn rate. So let's go to like 5,000, and it's going to spawn more. And you can cheat. Oh, I did 500. Hold on. Let me do 5,000. <laughs> there we go. So now you're going to get way, way more, as you can see there. So that's 5,000. Let's go even more. Let's go like 10,000. But once again, that's going to hurt your performance when you do do that. The more interaction of the foam. And that's all inside this boundary here. So you can see here, that's how it can be controlled, which is really, really cool. So you can move it in any different direction and you can add it as much as you want. So the default was 2000, but you can see here, just you add this emitter and it will actually then go ahead and go that. So if I hit play right now, let's go to that rock. And you're gonna start seeing more foam in that area. We can go obviously crazy. But you can see there all those particles around that area. Look how good that looks. The way it's swirling around, moving around, all those particles. That is very, very cool. Another really, really big feature, which I'm going to show you guys.
which is pretty neat. So that's that feature right there. Another really, really cool feature is the decal system. So I'm going to go ahead and let me go ahead here and just type the decal. There should be a oh, hold on, level here. There should be, here we go, BP flux decal. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. And we're just going to go ahead in here. It comes with a base material. Let me just move this up so that it's like right there. There we go. <laughs> So that's an instance material. So I added this kind of like texture here and you can add your own. So also too, like here's a beach one I just grabbed. These are just random textures that I use. And if you go into the actual base material here, you can actually switch it. So for example, if I type beach, there we go and add that there. And now that material's there. Uh, we're going to go move it towards the ocean over here, though, just to give it a little more so you can see it's following. We'll move it up to a bit or down. There we go. So this is pretty cool here, how you can add, like, different amounts of foam. And you also can change the size of the decal actor. So if it's too, like, as you can see here, it's clipping a little. So we can actually extend the height, which is then going to, which is really, really nice. So you can see there, that was that foam texture. I'm going to go ahead and grab that other ocean texture there, which is pretty cool. And then there you go. You can see there. So obviously you'd want to feather that off a bit so that it would blend a bit better. But overall though, if you wanted to, you can take this and scale it to whatever you need it to be. So if you wanted it to be around this whole rock area here, and then there we go. And you can see it would follow that, which is pretty cool. So those are kind of the updates in this map here. Not too many other ones, but he's updated some other things as well. If we take a look at the release notes. So he's updated the underwater lighting, which is really good. If we keep going, the water decal system, like as he shows here, you know, he just drops it in there. And it just shows kind of what I just showed you there. I think that's pretty huge. I think that's pretty, pretty cool. The only thing is it'd be really nice to have kind of like a fall off, which would be really, really nice. But it goes underwater. So you can see here he added kind of like an oily spill type thing, which is really, really nice. Um, another thing, the static uh, mesh converter baking has been updated. So you can kind of see here, there's the static mesh that he baked to and there's all the textures and everything. So that's pretty cool. The buoyancy editor. So now for getting on a boat. So for example, if we wanted to get on the boat, which he says we can get on the boat. Wait, where's the boat? There's the boat right there. Let's go ahead and where's the boat. There we go. Now we're on the boat. It has a nice buoyancy editor. Which is real. There's a little glitch right there. <laughs> That, the decal so what we'd have to do is we'd have to remove the decal from the boat so it doesn't receive decals this is pretty cool so now you can add a boat game and then here's another thing that as well which i will show you so you have that red area there so just think imagine like you have a game where some people uh some characters fall in the ocean they die you can have blood or something like that which is pretty cool so that is which actor? I believe that's this actor right here. That's right. There you go. It has a nice fall off as well. So that is pretty cool. And you can see this system here is using the um, BP Flux color painter, which is pretty cool. Da, 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 da. We still have the material billboard. I'm wondering how can I change this? I'm going to have to go deep into that material debug edge. Material billboard. So we're going to have to play around with that and mess around to see how to change that color. But that is pretty cool. You can actually erase. Do, 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 do. Wave scalable. So you can actually change the scale of the waves in this area. That's pretty cool. Oh, that is pretty cool, actually. So in this area here, you can actually change how the waves are affected in this area here, which is pretty cool. Oh, and that's the fall off that I just had there. Okay, that's cool. So that's the fall off. And then the shape roundness. Ooh, 
that is cool too and then of course you have the color painter right here which is really nice and it's like bleeding Ooh, look at that so that is very very cool i'm sure if you play with this stuff here the target value you can play with the blend additive very very cool and we're going to take a look at another couple different maps as well so let's go ahead and load those different maps and see how they're doing but what's happening in this map here is you actually have two you have like the ocean which is out here so that is the flux surface and then in this area here which i click on oh, let me click in this area here that's the fluid surface which is the surface of the simulation domain so here's the actual simulation domain and that connects with the ocean and that's why so when you hit play here you can see here you have the simulation area which is where you're in i thought it was so good And then it connects over all the way over here with the ocean. So now you're in the ocean domain. And then it blends seamlessly together, which is really nice. And of course, here you have your rocks and park area, which is really, really good. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the other maps now. Let's go to. Let's do, I want to see the beach map. No, we are not going to save that. Uh, so this is very similar, but this is just, I guess this is the old beach map. That's right, with a little bit of a stormy rain. Very cool. And there's the water starting out. Coming up. And going back. Very cool. So that's the same type of thing. You have the ocean. All right, let's take a look at more of the release notes. Unified velocity, update brings many changes, velocity simulation. Very cool. That. He's got like a little twirl around. That's uh, very, very cool. And that's the other thing too, he did definitely speed up everything large world coordinates oh that's huge large world coordinate test this area is located 140 kilometers from the center of the map that is very very cool and i bet you that is probably in this ocean map let's check out the ocean map preparing shaders guys here comes the shaders there we go So where is this? This is, okay, that's at zero, zero. And then they have like a teleport here. Let's go in here and let's teleport. So there's like a teleporter here. So this is obviously way further away from the center. That is very, very cool. And then they've got the glass dome now in there. I teleport it to the glass. Large worker in this area is 140 kilometers from the center. And this teleports you all the way back. Oh, that is super cool. And there's the decal right there in the ocean that I, that I changed. Very, very cool. Teleport. Oh, that is really, really cool. And then if I want to get, I guess, can I get in there? connects in there but I don't know how to get in there there's some flickering going on though that could just be my graphics very very cool so now you have large world coordinates which is really good so you can have a huge huge ocean far away and you're not gonna be able to see the water line That is very, very cool. Look how good this water looks. Look how good this looks. This water looks amazing. Oh, there's a boat out there. Look how far the ocean goes. So that's a huge, huge update. That is massive, guys. That is massive. 
All right, let's take a look at the release notes a little more and then go through them. Underwater, which we saw huge improvements, so that's really good. And new cave, so it's a new curve based waterline configuration and just optimization. So great stuff, great, great stuff that has been done here by the developer. Amazing. You guys got to support him. Uh, these products are you know, crucial to a lot of different games, a lot of different things, especially with water effects and stuff. But this is definitely a huge, huge thing. That's the rain. Oh, that's very cool. Let me turn that off. Here is the ocean surface and here's the domain size. That is crazy. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. It's very, very cool. All right, guys, with that one being said, thank you very much. That is an update. I am going to be looking at soon at the Oceanology Next Gen update, which is going to be really, really cool. Look at that. He's got a nice like flashlight right here. So that's a flashlight that changes the color of the water. Very, very cool. Oh, God rays, guys. God rays. <laughs> I'm going to leave you there with the God rays and have a great one.